just go ahead and play it through on us like Spot of the boat when we're moving. It's up in the forward part. You can see the water moving through the hawse pipe behind me. It's cold right now, so I'm kind of hiding wherever there's a little bit of sunlight and out of the wind. I had to go because Layla was barking at a cormorant. But, um, Get the mainsail working again, and we got some topping lifts started and they come up forward, and then we're going to hook up a handy billy to one side so it'll be easier to lift this boom up off of the, uh, off of the hard top. And then the next thing we got to do is hook up some lazy jacks so our sail can drop down easy. And also, last but not least, reef points. That's real important to hook up some reefs. So, and then we're pretty much done with the main. The jibs are, you know, real easy. You just tie them up and have a line run through it totally out there. Yes, Pete? I was going to say, it wouldn't be a bad morning to raise the main up real quick and see how it's... Square sail line because it'll hit the pilings. Um, so, not only do we have to worry about, you know, like bow spread, <laughs> the actual boat itself, but we got to worry about the square sail and putting the lines on that. It was a good day. Right, Pete? Yeah. It's awesome. Let's raise that main sail up real quick. See, when you raise it, you got to leave the gaff. Don't peek the gaff up or else it'll... Jam the jaw right there, that black thing that's riding up the mast. And then once the the gaff jaw hits the hits where it needs to, then you start peeking that mane out there. So now and then when you're offshore this thing's like flapping around back and forth. And then these we gotta put some baggy wrinkles on so that uh, that right there, we gotta put baggy wrinkles on. Obviously, splice it. So. There it goes, peeking it up now. Then you peek that, and voila! Where this line is tied right there, um, obviously, we're not gonna do that. That's kind of silly. Um, we're gonna hook a handy billy up right there so that we can actually raise this boom off a lot easier. It's really hard to raise the boom right now. And especially hard offshore. So we're going to put a handy billy right there so it'll be a lot easier. You can just do it with one hand and lift that boom off. So see where that is, we'll have to put some baggy crinkles. Yeah, Ava and I can do those. Wow, did you have to make that main come up that far off no, the... No, it's not tied right. Oh, okay. I'm supposed to, I forgot, I'm supposed to wrap it around. Yeah, it is. And that boom isn't that bad, actually. It's really good. Feel the water? Yeah. That right there clicks in yeah. to this gooseneck here. Isn't it called a gooseneck? Or yeah. Something like so, oh, we got a spare one of these. <clears throat> we do? Uh, which kind of looks a little bit worn, but that's right. Oh, that's one spare one. Yeah, we used to have two, but I think we had to use it, actually. Um, so, yeah. Those are the wood hoops that the sail rides on. <coughs> and then, uh... 
Sales. It's an electrical box, so if we ever, because this is a tabernacled mask, see how this this bolt goes through the mask there, um, and it'll swing up and then you know lay on the deck. And so this is for all the electronics. You can actually unhook them from right there, and then uh, be able to drop your mask. A few spots in the boat right now I got to work on. This cleat um, has some rod in it, as you can see. So we got to make a new one of these. We obviously got to seize. We got to seize that shackle right there. There's a lot of little details you got to do too. See, so definitely got to seize that shackle. This is a common thing you got to do on a wood boat. You got to swab the decks. And uh, this is something I probably should be doing, not the captain, but <laughs> we share responsibilities, right? You'll have to do it three times, swab. <laughs> the standing rigging, Pete and Ava, wrapped with. Uh, electrical tape all the way down this rigging and then took hemp rope and wrapped it around the rigging as well and oops, then uh, took the rigging to some uh, place where they dipped the nets in for shrimp boat paint um, so now it's got yeah now Pete's actually got to go up the rig with some linseed oil and probably some tar and, uh, and just put some slosh on that on the standing rigging just to keep it good. But it's actually galvanized wire. Uh, we learned from our travels that you don't want to use stainless wire and wrap it because stainless has to breathe. Um, so any of your stainless, make sure it's got oxygen because that's usually why it will rust and corrode. On wood boats you have to be careful with not only corrosion on uh, the actual fasteners but on the wood itself. And uh, we got some weird corrosion actually on our deck prisms, on the deck of the boat instead of under the water line, which is kind of weird. Um, the corrosion is actually under the deck, um, right next to these prisms, so I'm kind of wondering if there's some sort of weird, um, I don't know. <laughs> There you go.